Hi everyone, this is Dan Gross from News 8 and RochesterFirst.com here. Welcome to What's Good, the place where we share the good news in and around Rochester over the past seven days. Let's cue the jam! And starting off with a Rochester staple, the Seneca Park Zoo has a couple of new residents. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello and the Seneca Park Zoo announced the birth of two red pandas. Starlight, the zoo's four-year-old female red panda, gave birth to two male cubs all the way back in June. The zoo says the one-month-old cubs are doing well. This is the first red panda birthing in the 128 years of the Seneca Park Zoo. And wow, they are cute. And the students from the School of the Arts in the RCSD got an incredible surprise from a soda grad and Hollywood star, Tay Diggs. The actor and singer surprised teachers at the school virtually with a donation of over $75,000. This donation will provide each teacher with $750 to help offset out-of-pocket expenses spent each school year. Rochester's own Genesee Brewery received eight new storage tanks Tuesday for the premium malt-based drink Seagram's Escapes. These new stainless steel tanks replace the four tanks that are decades old. Each individual tank holds up to an equivalent of 28,000 cases of Seagram's malt base. Genesee Brewery says the addition is good news. Well, you know, that's why it's on our good news show. The Rochester Fire Department's new fire and rescue boat has been named the Leonard E. Rendon in honor of the former deputy mayor. Rendon passed away in 2017. Mayor Lovely Warren said on Tuesday he was an avid sailor who personally lobbied to secure the boat for the Rochester Fire Department. The boat has its call sign of Marine Service One and it went into service in June. While the 2020 Tokyo Olympics are starting just around the corner, here in Rochester, the Arc of Monroe Ballantyne Olympics have just wrapped up. The goal at Ballantyne is to keep the people who are supported there by Arc of Monroe busy with activities, but also to teach them independence. They even learned about other countries and created their own opening ceremony. The Strong Museum of Play did their best Indiana Jones by making sure that video game history belongs in a museum. The museum acquired a rare and special copy of a Super Mario 3 demo, but not a version made by Nintendo. Instead, this was actually made by the devs of id Software, the creators of the iconic Doom franchise. During one of Rochester's most rainy days in recent history, an officer was captured providing a simple yet loving act of kindness in the city's west side over the weekend. You can see in this video, an officer is helping to guide an elderly person across a three-lane roadway in the rain. So far, both the officer and the woman remain anonymous. Turning to a local teacher and author releasing their second book. Christopher Albrecht has been named Teacher of the Year in a state. He teaches fourth graders in Brockport, by the way. He's even in the Teacher's Hall of Fame. But his new book, called The Rediscovery of Hope and Purpose, came out last month. And to use his words, it aims to provide stability, joy, and clarity as we emerge out of uncertain times. What else is good? Well, honestly, this flag isn't very good. Unbelievably, what you're looking at right now is actually Rochester's official city flag according to the city charter. It was designed all the way back in the early 1900s and was adopted about 20 to 25 years later. Now, City Hall says that iconic Flower City logo and flag is their official flag for all intents and purposes, but it is important to note that that logo is copyrighted and it's owned by the city. What else is good? Making the best out of a bad situation is good. Remember that torrential rain we mentioned earlier? Well, a handful of industrious adventurers decided to break out their kayaks and jetty along in the flooded Allison Park. Thanks so much to the one and only John Cutcho for sending along this photo. What else is good? The background for our logo is good today. Thanks so much to one of Rochester's incredible men about town, John Gary, for sending us this awesome nighttime photo of Kodak Hall at Eastman Theater. Thanks, John. What else is good? Your good news. We'd love to feature that everyday sort of good news that keeps us all going, such as Karen Gagalski. She is 65 years old and is going to the CrossFit Games for the third time to compete. 
To even get in, she had to qualify in the top 20 athletes globally in her age bracket, and she finished ninth in the world. So she's leaving on Saturday to compete. Karen, we wish you the best of luck. Now, if you'd like to be like Karen and submit your good news, we'd love to hear about it. You can go ahead and drop me a line personally. You can see the email right at the bottom. So pass along anything like a promotion, your own good news, anniversary. Maybe you even caught a good Samaritan doing a good deed. Anyway, however you slice it, we'd love to hear about it. Again, drop me a line at that email and please send along any photos or video you might have as well. Well, I think that just about does it for this week's What's Good. I'm your host, Dan Gross. Thank you so much for your time and company. You know what else is going to be good? The rest of your week. We'll see you next Wednesday.